Today we're making a seared ahi tuna with a salad and a simple citrus vinaigrette. And here's the simple ingredients. Here's the star, ahi tuna, good marbling right there, very good. Then we have a ponzu, which is salsa china, soy sauce and lime, sesame oil, wasabi paste, you can get it like this. And then you have white and black sesame seeds and you're gonna do that. We're gonna pair this ahi tuna with a salad and citrus vinaigrette and lay it on top of a spicy salsa. Now turn the music, here we go. The first thing we gotta do is go ahead and put some wasabi paste because we're gonna marinate the tuna so that the seeds can also stick to it. You're gonna add the ponzu, you're gonna add the sesame oil, and then you're gonna whisk it together and add the tuna in there. Let it sit for about two, three minutes. That's a beautiful thing about cooking with tuna. It's instant. You enjoying the music? That's why I like cooking. And this song is actually an oldie but goodie, but Kevin's killing it on this song. Now, you gotta heat up the pan. You put a little bit of olive oil in there just to get it going. You're gonna go ahead and coat the ahi tuna on all four sides and even the sides. Tuna, you could eat like sashimi, remember? You're just gonna go ahead and sear it. I just love that searing sound. Remember, when you're at home, cook with music. When you're watching all my shows, that's why I always put music. That's what makes me happy. That's what's gonna make you happy cooking at home. At home, it's your restaurant, it's your lounge. Cocine con música y pasión. And you can smell it so delicious. Then you're gonna turn it over. Remember, it's just like sashimi, so you're literally only putting it one minute on the first side, as I mentioned earlier, and then about 30 to 40 seconds each additional side, and you're done. And now, you just take it out. Let it rest right there. And now what you're gonna do is the sauce. Tom John paste. Now this sauce is very practical. You can put it on fish, chicken, garnish, potatoes. You're gonna see in a lot of my uh, episodes. So, some mayonnaise. You're gonna lighten up the sauce by putting uh, half of a lime, some sesame oil. And remember, when you're plating, it's all about presentation. You eat with your eyes at first sight. This sauce will turn into a bright orange. It contrasts well with any kind of plate. And remember, just because you're cooking at home doesn't mean you can't make it sexy. Look at the sauce, you're gonna stir it, you're gonna puree it all in, and it's a good balance to the tuna meat. You're gonna grab the salad right here. A little bit of lime. This is one of my favorite salads. Very simple vinaigrette, citrus, lime, good olive oil, some salt. Remember, you wanna dress it, not drench the salad. So you've got the tuna with the side of a salad with citrus, and now we're almost ready to plate. And now you're gonna grab the tuna, sharp knife, cut right through it. As you can see right there, seared around the edges, a beautiful medium rare, just like at the restaurant. Remember, grab a big white plate, it's all about presentation. You're gonna grab the salsa or the sauce and you're gonna put like a little brush style right there. You've got a white plate, you've got orange. Now you're gonna go ahead and lay the tuna. You see that it's medium rare, bright red in the middle. You're gonna then pair it up with a salad um, to go on the side. You're covering all those colors. You know, you get fancy. You see me putting the little drops there and there you have it. Just because you're at home doesn't mean it can't be fancy and looking good. You saw that I cooked it at home. I hope that you liked this episode y hasta la próxima. But remember, siempre cocinen con música y pasión.